Hello everyone, it's Bella, and today's video is a very exciting one. So if you already watched my last video, which is kind of a life update of what's going on with the university this year, then you would know that all of my classes are being conducted online. Which means that I will not be moving into a dorm room on campus this first semester. And as I mentioned in that video, I'm going to be changing up my desk area a little bit, and I'm also going to be renovating a storage media room in my house and turning it into an alternative study space for me. So I really hope you enjoy seeing how I create my brand new study space for my first semester of college. Before I get started, I want to announce that this video is in partnership with Mapaful, which I will be discussing later on in the video. To begin, here is a shot of what my desk looked like before I redecorated it. My walls looked a little blank, so I took my inspiration from Pinterest to make a Dark Academia-inspired collage on my wall. I've been seeing this sort of decorative wall collage being done all over Pinterest and Instagram, so I thought I would make one for myself. In addition to the wall, I also bought myself a new pen holder from Etsy, and I put some of my politics books on my desk for motivation and easy access. I'm studying political science at university this year, so it will be nice to have those books on hand. I filled my collage with pages from various old books, including Mansfield Park and some poetry from Shelley. I also put up some of my own artwork, some pictures I printed from Pinterest, and various other pictures I had collected. Overall, I am very happy with the dark academia look I was able to create here and I know it will be super motivating for me this upcoming semester. I also made some changes to my bookshelf by making a shelf primarily dedicated to my favorite classic literature works, poetry, and novels. I also got some new pillows and a new throw for my bed to contribute to the neutral brown color scheme that I'm going for. On day two of this project, I'm transforming a media slash storage room in my house into a more cozy space where I can do some additional studying this semester at home. Right now it looks awful and cluttered, but I hope to turn it into a really welcoming and cozy space. To begin, I am vacuuming the carpet before I move any furniture. The thing that I am most excited about in this project is creating my new additional desk space. This is an antique desk designed for letter writing, as you can see from the letter slots and the pen holder. It is such high quality and I think the detail is absolutely gorgeous. I decorated the desk by adding a candlestick and I also moved some letters that I need to reply to to the mail slot. I moved some wax and seals to the mail slot as well. Then I added some pens to the pen holder and a clock. Here 
here I'm putting some old fashioned letter writing paper and envelopes into the slot. Within the drawer I'm putting in some additional letter writing supplies and a few journals. The chair is also antique and it belonged to my grandmother. I think this desk area turned out beautifully and perfectly embodies the dark academia aesthetic that I really want to emulate this upcoming academic term. Next I'm tackling the media area. I am folding up some blankets and moving them out of the way so I can move the bean bag. Here I am moving the storage bench into the alcove and storing the pillows and blankets here as well. Moving on to the space that I had the clearest vision for, the reading corner. I really wanted a cozy space where I would feel comfortable reading for hours on end, so I bought this massive armchair and it's honestly so perfect for reading it. I know I will be spending a lot of time in this reading nook. I tried to organize the books by color, and I'm not sure if I achieved that or not, but I did my best to coordinate the colors a bit. On top of the shelf, I'm putting my coffee table books and a few decorative pieces. I am so delighted that this video is in partnership with Mapiful, a home decor company that specializes in creating custom maps to make your decor a bit more personal. I was immediately drawn to the company because of how their products are meant to be a reminder of a happy moment and place in your life. I always try to make sure my decor has meaning and represents something beyond aesthetics, and this piece from Mapiful definitely does that. They kindly sent me this map, but I did purchase the frame myself. Created a very simple and minimalistic design for myself of the city of Pittsburgh, the city that I grew up in. This place is so special to me and holds my happiest memories. I'm so glad that I now have such a beautiful reminder of these memories on my wall. There are so many options to choose from to make your map. You can create a classic map like I did, or you can make a star chart of a certain time or place, for example. You could make your map more simple or add more decorative elements. I really love the customization that Mapiful offers. If you would like to make your own map, I will leave the link to Mapiful in my description. These maps are genuinely so high quality and I would definitely recommend them if you're looking for a really personal piece for your home. Here is the finished bookshelf and reading nook. I am so happy with how it turned out and I know that I will be spending a lot of time here. Now I am changing up the wall hangings by the television area.
Next, I'm moving on to the music area of the room. It was really cluttered and I wanted to make it a space that I would feel really excited about practicing my instruments in. I also brought out my record player and gave it a place on top of an old dresser that I will be using for storage. Moving on to the most cluttered area in the room, the crafting table. It is an absolute disaster and this portion of the project was definitely the most draining for me. There was so much to maneuver around and reorganize and I had to declutter a lot as well. I'm so happy with how the arts and crafts shelf turned out. Everything looks so well put together and aesthetically pleasing. Overall, this is the area that went through the biggest change and it honestly transforms the entire room. I'm so happy with how everything turned out and hopefully I can create some great art here. a final tour of the finished space and a before and after. I think I did a great job on both my bedroom and the additional study space, and certain parts of this project definitely have been transformed into the perfect dark academia study spaces. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you here. I upload a new video every single Saturday. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.